The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for attending the webinar. Uh, my name is Tom Audet. I'm with uh, 3D Marketing, and uh, the purpose of the webinar today is we're going to talk about how to increase REBAT leads through a paid search program um, that's now available to uh, REBAT dealers around the country. A um, couple of admin things before we get started here. I know I'm, it looks like we've still got a few more people that are, are going to join us here on the webinar. Um, the phones are muted today, and what that means is that you can hear me, but I can't hear you. Um, and so it's, uh, if you have a question as we get moving, you'll see over on the right-hand side um, in the admin panel or the, there's a chat box. And if you want to type in a question in that chat box, when I get through all of the slides, I'm going to go through the questions and try to answer um, the ones that I think are pertinent to everybody. Um, I'm also going to give my contact information at the end. You'll have my email address and my phone number if you'd like to call me directly, and I, I'd really be happy to talk to you. A um, little bit of introduction about myself. Um, again, I work for 3D Marketing. 3D, we're a digital marketing agency. We're based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, we work in uh, the home improvement industry pretty extensively with some of the top home improvement retail companies and, and brands like Rebath. Um, myself, I've got almost uh, you know over 18 years of experience directly in the home improvement industry. Um, I've been a, you know first 10 years of my career was sitting at the kitchen table with Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner. So I mean I've I've sold in the home. I've been a sales manager. I've been a marketing manager. I've run phone room. Own my own business. Um, I now work with home with uh, with Three Deep as a, as their business development director for home improvement. Um, and my job really is is consulting. Um, I, I work with companies to optimize their online initiatives and get more leads and help them close more sales. Um, 3D, we, we're proud now to be an authorized vendor, uh, a member of the Preferred Vendor Network with Rebath, and uh, this is our introduction to the network. Um, with pay-per-click, you know, and really where this whole thing is going is the old death of old media. I'd like to talk about um, some things that are happening in the, in the industry. I talk to business owners, not just in the bath business, but home improvements in general. And the one thing I hear over and over and over again is the things we used to do to generate leads aren't working. In the business, we used to you know, place an ad in the yellow pages. We might add, put an ad in the newspaper. If you're in a, a market, you can afford it. You know, maybe you run some television ads and you wait for the phone to ring. Um, you know, it's, it's, I, I think everybody in this call would agree that the yellow pages aren't what they used to be. People don't, don't let their fingers do the walking. Matter of fact, you know, if you're over 40 years, if you're under 40 years old, that uh, yellow page is when it gets delivered to your doorstep, probably goes right out to the recycling. Um, the newspapers, they're in bankruptcy. Um, you know, you know, they're they're losing subscribers because more and more people get their information online. And uh, television, you know, there's a DDR and and uh, uh, TiVo. People don't don't watch the ads anymore. They screen through them, and so it's it's getting harder and harder to get our message in front of people. Um, Online ad spending is what's driving the decrease in all of those other sources. I mean, 2012 is going to be a, a banner year for online ad spend. It's the first year that the total amount of money that's invested in online marketing is going to surpass print, and that trend is only going to continue. Um, here's some stats that come from Google. You know, Google will tell you that 78% of consumers use the use the web frequently or always when looking for home improvement information. Of those people, nearly two thirds of them start their research online. And when you look at where they're starting at, you know, 64% of them are going to the search engine. Um, you know, consumers rely on the search engine. 77% of search engine user users look for home improvement information, and that's the place that they start. And so, what this is telling you is that when people are ready to buy, when people are ready to find somebody to, to help them remodel their bathroom, they're going online. That is the new yellow pages, and if you're not showing up there, um, you know you don't even exist in the prospect universe. And so, what we have been seeing is a shift in the way that home improvement companies get their leads, you know, and get their get their contact from the traditional focus of yellow pages, newspaper, direct mail, radio, TV, you know, um, to now the focus shifting to things like local search search engine optimization, paid search, social media, email. And so if you're doing these things in your in your business now, great. If you're not, we want to help you get there. And, and, and some of the things we're going to show you here on this call are tactics that we have employed for other people within the Rebath network and had great success with. And we can we can have similar success with you on your book. You know, um, just to 
kind of show you some numbers and show you what I'm talking about and how the internet can be a very effective lead source. This is a case study. This is one of the top 50 home improvement companies in the United States. Last year, this company spent almost $70,000 in pay-per-click advertising. I know it's a big number, um, but when you look at that, this company has a very effective pay-per-click campaign, and he also has a very effective website. So he gets almost the same amount of uh, inquiries from organic search as he does with paid. And so he sold $2.2 million last year um, on those two sources. And that represents almost a quarter of his overall business. And we know that this company has a fully loaded internet marketing cost under 7% on that slice of business. And in fact, you're in the, the advertising fees and the, and the cost to actually set the appointment. The reason I'm showing you this is because this is the takeaway. If you as a business aren't getting 25 to 30 percent of your business from the internet, that's the opportunity. Why aren't you? You know that that should be your goal, um, and that's that's what we want to help you get to. Because you know we really believe that the internet represents the biggest single opportunity for a home improvement business owner to increase his sales. Um, you know if you got zero and you can get 10 percent or 15 percent, that's a big jump. Um, and so, what I like to start with is. You know, internet marketing 101. How you know? How do you do this? Well, you know, first you gotta have you gotta have a website, or you gotta have some web properties, and then once you have those, you gotta get people to find them. You know, and you gotta get prospects to find your company online. That's the first step. Once they find you online and they get into your into your web environment, you need to have content in there that engages that prospect. You know, and keeps them interested. It's a fact that. 50% of visitors to any given website leave in eight seconds. I'll say it again. 50% of visitors to any given website leave in eight seconds. So you don't have a you don't have a lot of time to make a good first impression. But let's assume that you do. Let's assume you got good contact and you get and you get these prospects engaged. Then you need to have a call to action on your website, something that stimulates prospects to contact you. And then if you do that, now you got some phone calls coming in, and you got some web email leads coming in. You got to handle those inquiries effectively and efficiently and set them into appointments. It sounds simple, but you know, really, the question is, you know, why isn't this happening? Why isn't this happening for, for my company? Well, getting people to find you is a very complex uh, proposition. You know, there's a thing that calls Google. Obviously, everybody knows Google. They're the 800-pound gorilla when it comes to on online search. You know, and they they have about 80% market share. So what we're trying to do. As, as business owners and as marketing people is to get these homeowners when they make the decision that yep I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with my bathroom okay they might be talking to friends and family and getting ideas hey hey Jim who did you you do you know have used your bath or do your bathroom you know they might actually get in some of that information for social networking and you know Facebook but really at the end of the day eventually they're gonna get to Google and the and the and the task is to get them to find your website now they might find you directly but the thing to keep in mind is they might find you through a lot of other things. They might find you through review sites, you know, Yelp and Angie's List. They might they might find you through lead aggregators. You know, some of these companies that uh, you know capture information and then they sell them to to you and to maybe two or three other companies. They might find you through ads, you know, that you place. You know, and really the purpose of this call we're going to talk specifically about Google AdWords. And they might find you through your content if you have a social networking site. If you're putting content up onto Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, if you have a blog, if you, you know, and so the point of a well-rounded, uh, you know, internet strategy is that you have this spider web that's built, and there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle. We're going to focus on AdWords today. Now, I've thrown out a lot of terminology, and, and really to take this back a step, you know, we talk about paid search and we talk about organic, and you know, I just want to flat out what, what is the difference. Organic search is the green box. They're the listings that show up in the middle of the page. These are the ones that are allegedly free, but we don't like to use the term free. We like to call them earned. Because what that is, is it's Google's representation of what they feel are the most relevant websites for any given search term all across the World Wide Web. Take a lot of heavy lifting to get there. If you're showing up there now, great. If you're not, you know, that's you know that that's going to be you're, you're going to be working on SEO as long as you own your business. Paid search, on the other hand, which is the orange box, is you pay to be there. Basically, you 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 
create a list of keywords that you want to show up for and you, you hire a company or you do it yourself and you set up a campaign and, and your ads will start showing up and it's, it's essentially an auction. The higher that you, you bid for any given search term, the higher you're going to show up. Again, we work with home improvement retail companies all over the country and we really believe that a, that a, that a home improvement retailer should really strive to be in both places because the odds are that if somebody is searching for, for bathroom remodeling in your town and they see a paid search ad and they see an organic ad, the odds are about 90% they're going to click on one or the other and, and you win either way. The question you should be asking is, can prospects looking for bathroom remodeling in your market find your business? Studies show that web users predominantly click on the top four results for any search before moving on. And so what that says is that if you're showing up organically and you're saying, hey, I'm already on page two or three, you don't even exist. We need you to be above the fold, you know, in those precious top four listings. And I'm here to tell you, pay-per-click is the fastest way that you can get yourself listed there. You can get yourself listed there immediately. Whereas a fully optimized, well well run SEO campaign could still take you six to nine months or even longer before you're showing up organically on those top pages. And so, from an overview standpoint, how pay per click works when we run campaigns for people is we make a very aggressive keyword list. We'll make a keyword list of all of the keywords that somebody looking for your company or your product could potentially be searching for. And there's a lot of online tools that we use to do that. And then we make these keyword lists and we're going to place these ads so that you're showing up above the fold. You're showing up in what I'm shading here, this blue box. Our goal is actually that we want our ads to show up in position two, three, or four. You know, again, above the fold, not necessarily number one, because if, you, if, you're, if you're showing up number one, you're going to spend a lot more on a per click basis than you would if you're in position two, three, or four. But we don't want you to be down on you know, position 10 at the bottom of the page because people don't scroll down that far. Now, what happens is when somebody types in a keyword like bathtub replacement, they're going to see our ad. They're gonna, when that search engine results page comes up, our ad's going to show up there for you in that position two, three, or four. And then when a customer clicks on that ad, we're going to take them to a landing page. It's actually a microsite, a specially designed microsite that we've developed. Um, We've developed this microsite, and what it does is it has a call to action above the fold in a, in a prominent location. We also have a, a local tracking number on there. And what we're able to do is we're able to measure and track exactly how many phone calls are created of those people that click and exactly how many web forms are, are submitted. So we know exactly you know, how much money you're spending and how many leads are being generated or raw contacts are being generated. And we can, we can measure and optimize and, and, and improve things over time. And so when you look at examples of what's happening here, this is in uh, Pennsylvania. If somebody's looking for bathroom remodeling, boom, there's your ad. If somebody's looking for walk-in tubs, we'll have a walk-in tub ad. You know, going to a walk-in tub page. If somebody's looking for bathtub replacement, boom, there's our ad. Somebody's looking for a tub to shower conversion. There's our ad. So all of these different keywords that are all the different types of products that um, Rebath covers, when they click on those ads, they're going to go to special microsites. And when you repeat this process over literally hundreds of different keywords in your area, we can make it so that it's almost impossible that if somebody looking for one of the products that you cover is looking for it online, they won't see your ad. Now, where we're sending them is we're going to send them to landing pages, microsites. It's essentially, it's an 8 to 10 page microsite that's specifically optimized for your location. So it's branded with Rebath. It's branded with the location information. We use a local phone number. It's actually a tracking phone number. This number is unique to this landing page. So the only way that somebody would have ever called this number is if they saw it on your pay-per-click campaign. So we know exactly how many phone calls are, are generated. We like local numbers because we know statistically that people prefer to call a, a local phone number than an 800 number. In areas where there's multiple 800 or multiple area codes, we might put an 800 number on there as well. But the whole point of this is to make make it so that when somebody comes here, within that eight seconds, they say, "Okay, they're a local company. They got a local number. They got a local location. They do what I I'm looking for. Let's call them." Okay. We have a 
a, a contact form. The contact form is on every page of this microsite. It's, it's above the fold. The, the call to action is on there. It, you know, it's got a good call to action here. We're offering a savings of $500. This is customizable. So if you come into this program, we can put whatever offer you want up in there. We have a Google map with, a, with your address and a map in placement to your location. And then on the pages, under products, we have product pages for all of the different types of services that Rebath has. You know, walk, you know, tub to shower, tub replacement, tub liners, walk-in tubs, and all of the different things. If you don't carry, if, if there's a certain product that you don't uh, ha happen to sell in your market, we won't have those pages on your Microsoft. Okay. Now, somebody comes to these pages, they decide to convert, they call the number, the number rings right to your office. If somebody fills out this form and says, yes, I want more information, that email gets routed directly to your office. And, and I'm talking about within seconds. Okay, so, it, so you know, in real time, you're getting these, these uh, inquiries sent to you. And they're exclusive. They're not going to three other companies. These, are, these people are, are, have been on a Rebath branded page. They're, they want to talk to somebody from Rebath, and they're expecting to hear from you. So they're very strong. So with this platform, what we, can, what we basically can do is make a local instance of a website specifically for you. It's not designed to compete with your website. It's designed to su supplement your website. Okay? And, it's a, and, it, and the reason why we, we use this is that it, it has been statistically shown. We've got statistical confidence that these pages will convert. So if you're spending money on pay-per-click, you want to send them to pages that we know are going to produce results. So to kind of summarize some of the things that I just mentioned here, the benefits of pay-per-click is that, number one, it's immediate placement. If we start your campaign and we get a campaign live for you, your ads start showing up on your keywords right away. It can be extremely cost-effective, and I'm going to show you what, what, what I mean by that. We use pay-per-click specific landing pages rather than your company website um, for a very specific reason. Number one is relevancy. When somebody's looking for a walk-in tub, we want to send them to content that talks about a walk-in tub. When somebody's talking about a tub, looking for tub to shower content or company, we want to send them to a page that talks specifically about tub to showers. You know, and, and so it it allows us more flexibility to do that than just send it to a generic home page and let the company, the, the prospect, try to navigate through it themselves. Um, the other big reason is that having a conversion optimized page, the way that these pages are 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 designed has over, over 10 years of trial and error within the home improvement space, and it's, it's designed using tested best practices so that when that person comes to that page, there's a very high preponderance chance that they will convert. And really, the goal of a, a well-structured pay-per-click traffic campaign is to drive highly relevant traffic to landing pages that are designed to convert into leads. Now, when I talk about leads, I'm using that as a as kind of a nebulous term. I'm, I, what I really it is is it's a raw contact. It's either a phone call to your office or it's a web form. It's not an appointment. It's it's a raw contact, and what you do with it and your efficiency in setting those into appointments is where the cost effectiveness is going to come from. Now let's talk about conversion tracking. And here's an example of you know how we measure uh, a campaign. You know, essentially, this is a client. And this client is in you know multiple locations. You know, they've got uh, like five different locations in place, so we establish budgets for each location. But overall, this campaign spent ten thousand dollars on pay per click, or excuse me, nine thousand dollars a month in pay per click over the course of a month. He generated one hundred and fourteen phone calls, seventy nine web forms, so he got one hundred and ninety three total contacts. And when you divide that 193 into the 9,055, it comes out to a CPA, which means cost per acquisition, of $46.92. So essentially what this is saying is that that pay-per-click campaign that was running cost $46.92, essentially $47 to make the phone ring or to send a, a web form into this, con this company's email box. If you compare that to television, radio, print, or shows on a per inquiry basis, it's a very affordable cost. If you compare it to some of the other third-party lead services that are out there, that's 
charge you upwards from $75 to $100 for a lead, and they sell it to three other companies, it's a very good lead cost. Okay? So this is the kind of the examples of campaigns in, in, in terms of the reporting and in terms of vis, the, the type of visibility that you will have if you run a campaign under this program. You'll know exactly how much you spent every month. You'll know exactly how many web forms were generated. You'll know exactly how many phone calls were generated and what your cost per contact or cost per raw contact is. Okay, and we do this through a report that we, pre that we prepare each month for each one of our, our clients. It, this report is prepared the first week of the month for the previous month, and it's sent to you. And it'll have the key performance indicators showing you how a pay-per-click campaign, your pay-per-click campaign is doing. Total spend, total interactions, what your cost per interaction is, what your average cost per click, what your the total number of clicks, your click-through rate, your conversion rate. And it also will show a historical trend line analysis so that you'll see as your campaign runs, is it improving? You know, is my cost per contact going down? Is my lead volume going up? You'll actually start to learn and see where the where the cyclical nature of your business is. And to tell you, your traffic in, in December is going to be a whole lot less than it is in May. You know, it's kind of, kind of common sense, but that will be shown in your pay-per-click report. Okay? Now, a little bit about 3D. You know, 3D, uh, we developed a, a methodology in doing this. We've been serving the home improvement industry for almost 10 years now. We work with some of the top home improvement retail companies in the United States, three of the top 10 home improvement companies we, we counted as clients of ours. Um, we, you know, and every time we do this, our methodology that I've just shown you, aggressive keyword lists, making sure that we get you know, all of the, the conceivable keyword list, keywords that somebody looking for your products could be using including your competitors. We'll bid on their names, and we'll make sure that they see a revamp. Um, when they click on those ads, we send them to landing pages like I've shown you. We optimize the campaign. Over time, we're looking at your keywords, your, your campaigns on a keyword level. See, are there keywords we're bidding on that are getting a lot of clicks but not getting, getting conversions? We're going to stop bidding on them. And, and over time, we're going to funnel all of your money into those keywords that are your best performing ones that are driving where your leads are coming from. Trend lines, you know, you look at this case study, this is a client that we took over. In the first month, we were able to drop his cost per contact from almost $500 down to close to $100, down to where it is now. And you, you look at the bar graph being the total volume of leads that, you know, contact that got generated. Um, you know, we feel that we're very efficient at doing this and, and very effective. Rebath specifically, you know, we've been working with a number of rebath uh, locations over throughout the country. When you look at last year, what did we do? We average, we managed on average fifteen thousand dollars a month on behalf of the rebath, sending sending those clicks to pages like I've shown you. And what we now know is that we've got an average cost per inquiry nationally of about forty six dollars. So that includes phone calls and web forms. We actually know that there's about a two to one ratio between calls and web forms submitted. So a lot of the inquiries that you'll get will be direct phone calls to your office. Are all of the phone calls going to be people that want to set an appointment? I'm here to tell you no. Are you going to get calls from people that you've already sold that are looking for service? Yes, you are. Are you going to get calls from people that are um, you know, might be looking for a job? Yes, you are. Are you going to get calls from people that want to sell you advertising because they see you online? Yes, you are. But you're also going to get calls from people that are searching online, looking to um, you know, remodel their bathroom, and I saw a revamp. Hey, I see your commercials. I see you. I, I interacted with you, and I and and we call. So the whole point of this is to try to get your your reach online out to people that so that when they decide I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start getting information on remodeling my bathroom, we're gonna get revamp in front of them. Now you look at this number. If we were if we gave you an average cost per contact of forty six dollars. And let's just say that you set half of those inquiries into a, into appointments. Your overall cost per appointment is still under a hundred bucks. And so my point in saying this is, you know, this should be a very effective um, and a very cost-effective program for you if you're setting appointments efficiently, you know, setting inquiries efficiently into appointments. Now, the 
benefits of everything that I've just shown you is that, again, it's a well-established campaign. It's been tested in several large markets across the country. Um, the landing pages that we have, they're built on a scalable platform, allowing us to very quickly implement your business at a very affordable cost. I don't have to build a whole new website for you. Essentially take the template and we can add you on there and make a customized version for you and have you live with pay-per-click in a couple of weeks. Again, we've got, we've got now proven historical track record with, with a cost per acquisition that's well within industry standard. We provide monthly reporting to you so you're going to get very good visibility into how your campaign is performing for you each month. These phone calls that we're going to send to you, all the calls are recorded, you know, and so we can listen to them. You can listen to them, so you, you can you can get a feel for you know the, the quality of the calls that are coming in. The calls are routed directly to you. The forms are routed directly to you, so you can respond to them right away. Now, just to kind of run through a pro forma of how these numbers could work, you know, we took a we took a model here and we said, well, let's just say a, a company spent $3,000 in a given month or had a campaign where they budgeted $3,000 a month for bathroom remodeling, okay? Using that cost per acquisition of $45, $46, that would mean we generate 67 raw contacts. And again, assuming that this company set half of those contacts into appointments, issued 75% of them, demoed 75% of the ones they issued, closed 35% of the ones they demoed, at an average sale of $5,500 and netted out about 90% of their business, which I, you know, I don't know about your company individually, but these are kind of industry averages for the bath business. You know, on, on a given month, that $3,000 a month could net out 32 grand in net sales. Well, on a 12-month basis, that campaign could generate about $389,000 in business. And when you factor in the Google fees and the management fees, it's my point is that this is really a two-way street. My job is to make your phone ring. My job is to get people you know, to, to respond to your online ads. And then your job is to get these things set, issued, demoed, and closed effectively. And if, if both sides of the coin are, are operating at peak performance, this should be a very effective campaign for you. Okay? How can we drive those costs even lower and get you under 10%? Well. If I do our, our part, then we can get that cost per acquisition below $45, get more people to, more of those people that are clicking on your ad to convert, and we bring that number down and give you more at bats, you know, that's going to lower your cost. If we can increase your appointment set rate above 50% through best, pra best practice scripting, or actually, you know, if you, if you need contact center support of some sort, um, you know, that's a way to do it. If your demo rate's above 75%, if your close rate's above 35%, if your average sale's above 55% or $5,500, that's going to drive your cost down as well. Now, just a quick thing about phone response and, and what am I talking about here? Okay, because here's what's going to happen. Your ads are going to show up. People are going to call you. Somebody's got to answer the phone when, when, you know, when, when that call comes in. If it goes to voicemail, and you say, uh, you know, I thank you for calling Rebath. We're not available to take your call right now. Leave us a message and we'll call you back. I'm here to tell you, for every one person that leaves you a voicemail, you probably got six or seven people that hang up and don't. We know that from listening to calls. Um, but also, when that web form comes and it hits your email box, somebody has to call it back immediately. This is a study that MIT did that shows that the odds of contacting and qualifying an inbound lead drop 2,100% from five minutes to a half an hour. I'm going to say that again. The odds of contacting and qualifying an inbound lead from the internet drops 2,100% from five minutes to a half an hour. And I'm, tell, I'm telling you, folks, a lot of companies that we, when we start talking to them, they drop the ball right here. They'll say, well, you know, when those emails come in, we get back to them the next day, or we get back to them within a couple of days. Well, guess what? If you're using that, inquiries submitted on the web, 78% of people, you know, of the sales, you know, this study shows those are the first company that respond. So, yeah, people are going to find your ads and they're going to get to your landing page and they're going to submit a, a, a form. But guess what? They're probably also going to go and, you know, find a, a bath bidder ad. You know, they might, they might respond to bath bidder. And if the bath bidder calls them back first, you know, and you call them back two days later, they may have already bought. And so it's really critical that you respond to these things as quickly as you, as you possibly can. 
to show the impact of this. You know, we'll go back to that previous example of a company that spent nine thousand dollars and generated these hundred and ninety three inquiries. We keep the sales methodology all the same. You know, his, his issue rate, his demo rate, his sales rate, his average sale. And the only thing that changes is this set rate. The set rate drops goes from thirty five percent on column A to fifty five percent in column B. You see how the thing nets out on the marketing cost? I mean, there's a six percent difference. Six percent difference from um, you know a fifty five percent set rate to a thirty five percent set rate. And I think everybody on this call knows where that six percent goes. I mean that drops right down to the bottom line. You know, Wayne Gretzky said you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. There's really an opportunity cost here. You know, that those thirty one fewer appointments that were set, you know, right here, resulted in thirty one thousand dollars in missed sales. That's almost a thousand dollars per it's over a thousand dollars per missed appointment. Okay? And so I'm showing this because, you know, I talk to a lot of companies and they'll tell me, Tom, we can't respond to those things fast enough. Tom, how can I answer the calls when I'm, you know, I, I might be in a sales call or I might be out on a job site or, you know, I, I can't get these call things. Well, 3D, we actually do have a contact center where we have the capability to do this work for you. We can answer the calls for you using a scripted methodology. We can set the appointment for you. When those emails come in, we can turn around and, and respond to them in under five minutes, and we can set the appointment for you and set it directly in your CRM system. We actually work in MarketSharp, Lead Perfection, Salesforce, and Prove It 360, which are the, the main CRM systems that are in place in the home improvement industry today. So we we could be your off-site contact center and appointment setting center and get the, the appointment set for you if you need that. I'm not suggesting that you need it. You know, I'm just kind of making people aware on this call that typically what happens when we when we start working with clients, we'll start getting appointments, um, getting inquiries into the door for you, and then we find out that they need help getting them, you know, getting them handled. And so we develop this service specifically for that. Okay. Shut up, Tom. What does it cost? <laughs> um, the, the the managed paid search program that we've that we've now made available to Revast dealers. Um, there's a one-time setup fee of twelve hundred and fifty dollars. What you get for that is you get that that eight to ten page microsite. You get the AdWords campaign set up and optimized for you, and everything QA and tested. We make sure that the phone the phone calls are going to ring directly to your office. Make sure that the forms are getting routed directly to your office, and we get the campaign set up. Okay, it takes about two to three weeks uh, to get a campaign set up from the time that you tell us go. Now, then there's a monthly campaign management fee, and that's that's you're paying us to manage these campaigns for you, and it's tiered based on the amount that you spend with Google. Now. How this whole thing works is we will work with you to establish what your monthly budget is going to be, what, and it's a function of what you're comfortable with and what we think is available to spend in your market. So you'll set a budget with us. We, we suggest that it be at least $1,500, a minimum of $1,500 a month. What will happen with that monthly budget is we'll divide it by 30 because there are 30 days in a month. We'll come up with a daily budget, and, we'll, and your ads will start showing up. And then people will click on your ads, we'll start measuring the response rate and the conversion rate and what our cost per lead is. And you're always free to increase it, but we're not going to increase it unless you approve it. We might suggest to you that there's opportunity to increase it, and, and that will come But if we see that your daily budget is getting maxed out every day. We see that your monthly budget, your daily budget is getting maxed out at noon every day. What's happening is your ads are falling off the page, and anybody looking for your product in the afternoon is seeing. So we have these conversations with you to let you know if there is an opportunity to increase it. But the budget, as you can see, if you start at $1,500 to $2,500 a month a month in Google spend, um, your management fee would be $425. And it will increase as your, as your monthly ad spend increases. Okay? There's also a small call tracking fee. Um, those tracking phone numbers, they do come with a cost. It's $10 a month for the first number and $0.08 cents a minute. Um, the call tracking fee is we just pass that that cost on to our clients. It's not it's a service that we use. Um, the call tracking fee will be very very minor. I mean, I'm talking if you're spending fifteen hundred dollars a month, you might have a twenty dollars down for for call tracking, but it's well worth it. Um, so 
Um, so this is basically how the pricing structure works. Um, you know, and that's that's essentially the program on a very high level. Um, following this webinar, what we're going to do is I'm going to send an email out to everybody that has attended, and I'll give you a draft of the program agreement that you can review and the pricing structure that is in there. If you have any questions, you can certainly call me or send me an email. I'd be happy to schedule a time to talk to you one on one. Upon approval, if you say, "Yep, this sounds like something I want to I want to I want to launch in my market," we will send you a location and information onboarding form. On that form, it's going to have uh, you know information, you know, like your your company name, your address. You got multiple locations. Your addresses. What your monthly budget is going to be. We want to dial in exactly what your service area is, and we can do service area a number of ways. You can tell me it's a 60 mile radius of my office. It's a uh, um, it's these five counties. It's these 20 zip codes. However, you define your service area, because we'll set up your geo targeting. So that if somebody's looking for your products in that in that territory, they're going to see your ad. If they're looking for your product outside of that area, they won't see your ad. So we need that. We'll, we'll gather from you lead routing. You know, who are we going to route these emails to? Who whose phone are we going to route these calls to? Um, your budget. So all that information will, will be on this information onboarding form that we'll send to you. You send that back to us, and we'll have your campaign live within two to three weeks to proceed at that point. Um, again, a little bit about 3D and who we are. Um, we are now a member of the preferred, preferred vendor network through VBAT. Um, we're very proud of that designation. Um, we're based in St. Paul, Minnesota. We've got a 35, you know, 35 person online marketing team. We manage over $5 million a year in, uh, in paid search spending. Um, you know, we work with for Fortune 100 companies and mid-size clients. Um, we have a home improvement specific team, and that's, that's my group. Um, and we work, that's all we do is we work with home improvement companies. Not just bath companies, we work with siding, windows, roofing, doors, sunrooms, gutters, just about every uh, product category on, um, under the home improvement umbrella. Um, we're, we've got individuals here that are both Google AdWords certified and Google Analytics certified. Um, we've won quite a few uh, awards locally and nationally for our, for our work. People like to work, work with us. Um, you know, again, some of our clients that we work with, Rebath. Um, being you know one of one right one of the very well well known brands in our group as well, um, you know, and, and we we've, we've worked really hard over the last year to kind of refine this program and make the pricing available and make it so that it should be um, achievable to anybody in the, in the Rebath network. It's, it's a lot. Um, it's, we can make it a lot less expensive um, for a group than if you were to just call us right out of the blue and say, hey, I want you to do something. So here's my phone number, uh, my direct line, and my email address. Um, I'm, I'm seeing that there have been a couple of questions, not a lot, um, but if you do have a question, you can uh, you can certainly type it in through the chat window. Um, I'm going to walk through uh, what do we have here. Um, Mark, uh, Mr. Dawson said that Rebath Corporate will be universalizing our websites, and each franchise will be getting a dashboard. Um, how does this work with that upcoming change? This is actually totally independent of anything that Rebath Corporate is doing. Um, it's a good question, but it's, it's independent of anything that corporate is doing with your your company website, so to speak. Um, this is this has been designed as a pay-per-click program, as a as a paid search lead generation program, and as such, if you put pay-per-click money into putting ads up on Google, you know. We want to be able to take people that find those ads and, you know, if they click on it, take them to a page that's going to convert. Because here's the thing about pay-per-click, folks, to remember. If somebody clicks on that ad, you pay. You pay the minute they click on it. Okay? So with that in mind, it, it behooves us all to get as many of those people to click and get contact information from them. And what I've shown you and, and what I've walked through here today is, is built on best practices within the home improvement space and with pay-per-click management to do it. I am going to tell you, if you run pay-per-click campaigns right now and you're running them to your website, um, you know, th there's a very good chance you're, you're under-optimized. There's a very good chance you're not you're not collecting the uh, the metrics that I went through here today. You know, what is your conversion rate on your website right now? Do you know? I know statistically what the conversion rate. I know that 
um, about 15% of the people that come to these landing pages that I've shown you will either call or fill out a form. I know it's statistics. You know what your conversion rate is? I know what your cost per raw contact is. Do you? You know, a lot of companies that either do this themselves, they think, well, I, I, I'm bidding on some ads, I'm bidding on some keywords, and I'm writing clicks to my website. Well, how is it working? How many phone calls are you getting? How many web forms are you getting? Can you identify which ones are which? You know, can you identify that this lead came in from my pay-per-click versus this lead came out came from my corporate website? Can you track that in your CRM system so that you can measure the effectiveness of your pay-per-click versus your organic effort? Can you do that right now? The program that I'm showing you will give you the tools that you can do that. Okay? So our whole methodology is, is designed to optimize your spend, get the most bang for the buck, get the most raw contacts we possibly can for the money that you're spending and give you visibility on where those leads are coming from so that you can you can report on it and that you can track it. Um, you know, and, and, and give you give you better visibility into the effectiveness of your overall online efforts. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, I, uh, I definitely would appreciate uh, you giving, giving me a call. Um, for those of you in the West Coast that might be at the, the uh, Western Dealer Meeting that I know is going to be tomorrow and Friday, I'm actually going to be there. Um, so if you, if you happen to be there, you know, come on up and, and introduce yourself. I'd be happy to talk to you offline there as well. Um, but I don't see that there's any other questions. Um, so with that, I, I appreciate everybody's time here today. Um, and I look forward to working with you or talking to you again uh, very, very soon. Thanks for, uh, thanks, for, thanks for attending our call.